Hello, my name is John Ross and I'm here to tell you about your Council's budget for the coming year and how it will impact on you and your communities. And the good news is that the budget we have agreed is much better than anyone might have predicted. Many feared the worst this year given the impact of the Covid pandemic, but thanks to a better than expected grant settlement from the Scottish Government, plus the hard work of Council staff and the efforts of most councillors, we have been able to rule out the most drastic cuts to services. What's more, we have identified millions of pounds of investment that will help our local communities and businesses. And I can tell you too that we have done all this while freezing council tax at last year's levels. This has been a collective effort. All of the political groups came together in a working group to agree the council's budget, with the exception of one. We quickly ruled out some proposals, such as scrapping our much treasured school breakfast and holiday clubs for children. We dismissed other options that might have seen a reduction in road and path maintenance and gritting in winter, and we dropped a raft of other suggested cuts. And I have to thank the residents of South Lanarkshire for playing their part. More than 2,000 of you took part in our public consultation exercise. You were clear on what you wanted and we listened. So how about some more details on those investments I spoke about a moment ago? First, the impact of COVID on children's education has been a huge worry. So we will invest more in the learning and well-being of our children and young people. Our education staff have worked wonders to help pupils through lockdown and this funding will be directed to address the challenges experienced by pupils whose education has been disrupted. We will invest more in a fund to get South Lanarkshire working. It will include grants for social enterprises, a programme to attract businesses to move to South Lanarkshire and a new strategy to bring in more tourists. The response to COVID has been the focus for much of the past year and I have to say that your council staff have been magnificent in working with our communities to support residents and businesses and that will continue but we know that we face more issues than just COVID and one of the most pressing is climate change so we will invest to provide match funding for green projects especially those that will result in green jobs and a range of further investments are specifically designed to empower our communities we are going to make more funds available for footpath and road improvements and we are going to work with local communities so this money can be directed at local areas that they view as a priority. We'll provide funds for community-led initiatives such as winter gritting of footpaths and environmental projects. There will be new funding too to support the creation of community food growing initiatives and funds also to help local communities take over ownership of public assets through community asset transfers. And this is extra investment on top of the £85 million we are already planning to invest through our General Services Capital Programme and the £100 million we have agreed to invest to provide new and improved council homes in our area. So there you have it. Not only have your councillors agreed a balanced budget without significant cuts, we also have a programme of investments that will tackle some of the worst impacts of COVID and help our communities emerge stronger from the difficult months that lie behind us and those still to come. It has been a tough dark year, so I am immensely proud to tell you about this budget, a positive, forward-looking budget that will help South Lanarkshire bounce back and face the future with hope and genuine optimism. Thank you.